Thanks, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> Ms. Burrell, welcome. Glad to have you here. Since I'll have the opportunity to ask questions later, let me use my five minutes to uh, <clears throat> tell you a story. When I was a boy, my grandfather was a railroad engineer in Newton, Kansas. Uh, he drove big steam locomotive switch engines. He'd, he'd drive an engine onto the round table that was headed to Santa Fe and turn it and head it in the direction it ought to be going. He'd head it to Denver, he'd head it to Houston. That's what Republicans would like to do with our health care system. We'd like to turn it and head it in the right direction. We want to repair the damage that Obamacare has done and prevent future damage as responsibly and rapidly as we can. We'd like to move in a different direction, to put in place proposals that would increase freedom, increase choices, and lower costs. We trust Americans to make these decisions ourselves. We believe that is the American way. Four years ago, Congress and the President made what we believe is an historic mistake. They passed a 2,700-page bill. We said we don't believe in that, trying to rewrite the whole health care system. Let's go step by step in a different direction, more freedom, more choices, lower costs. Let me take you back for a moment to the health care summit at the Blair House four years ago. Three dozen members of Congress, six hours with the President there, all of it on national TV. I was asked to speak first for the Republicans. I said what was wrong with the President's plan. I and others said it would increase health care costs, and it has. USA Today reported that health care spending the first quarter of the year rose at the fastest pace in nearly 35 years. Hill paper reported that insurance executives say premiums in new exchanges will double or triple in the country next year, even with subsidies. Uh, many Americans are finding that the co-payments and the out-of-cost expenses are so high they can't afford insurance. We said people would lose their choice of doctors, and many have. We said Obamacare would cancel policies, and it has. At least 2.6 million Americans have had their individual plans outlawed by Obamacare, and millions more of, 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 of Americans who get their care through small businesses will find the same thing happening to them. We said it would lose jobs. It would cause jobs to be lost. It has. The president of Costa Rica is hosting job fairs, welcoming medical device companies that have been driven out of the United States by the onerous 2.3 percent tax on revenues. We said Medicare beneficiaries would be hurt. They have. Uh, the average cut per Medicare Advantage recipient will be $317 between this year and next. We said the only bipartisan thing about the bill will be its opposition. Gallup says that level today is 54 percent. I said that every senator who voted for it ought to be sentenced to go home and serve as governor and try to implement it. And there's 16 governors today who won't implement the Medicaid expansion because they worry about costs. But the most important thing we said was what we would do if we could. We said, let's go step by step in a different direction. Our Democratic friends said, that's not a plan. That's not comprehensive. We said, you're right. Washington's not wise enough to make these decisions to rewrite 20 percent of the economy. If you're waiting for Senator McConnell to wheel in a wheelbarrow with a 2,700-page bill, you're going to be waiting till the moon's blue. And at the summit, we outlined our steps. For example, we said, if you like your plan, you can keep it, as the President did. And we suggested removing some mandates to make that possible. We said if you find a policy in another state that fits your budget and your health care needs, you can buy it. If you're a small employer, you can combine your purchasing power with other small employers to offer employees lower cost insurance. We would allow any American to buy a major policy to avoid a medical catastrophe and then have an expanded health savings account to complement that. If you're an employer, we'd make it easier for you to give your employees uh, rewards for leading a healthy lifestyle. Ms. Burwell, you have a reputation for competence, and I would respectfully suggest you're going to need it, because if you're confirmed, you by yourself supervise the spending of nearly a trillion dollars a year, which is as much as the entire Congress of 535 men and women appropriate every year. We hope on this side of the aisle in the next Congress we have a Republican majority in the Senate and we'll be able to do for our health care delivery system what my grandfather used to do in Newton, Kansas for those trains that were heading west. We'd like to head them in a different direction. As I said, Republicans would like to repair the damage, 
that Obamacare has done, we'd like to prevent future damage as responsibly and rapidly as we can. We want to move in a different direction to put in place proposals that provide more freedom, more choices, and lower costs. We trust Americans to make those decisions for ourselves. We believe that is the American way. Since Obama will still be in office for the next two years, if you are confirmed, we will need your help to do that. Thank you.